Yeah, uh, where is the, yeah, the streaming is okay. Uh, can you show the presentation? Yes. Yeah. Great. Right, thank you. Uh, let's get started. Find your purpose. Let's look at, uh, please each one of you take your, uh, your notebook and pen. Uh, let's do some exercises. So to start with, where am I right now? Let's look at that. Uh, please answer these questions for yourself. How are you progressing in life, in your life? So can you just say something about it? Basically write, write something about it. How are you progressing with your life? On a scale of one to 10, rate your progress on your good habits. Do you have any consistent good habits? How are you progressing? Can you write down? Would this progress help in the way of your desired life? What's, what's the desired life? What are the life you're right now in? Are you enjoying? Is there anything you're missing? What exactly you want? So if the desired life is what you want, what do you think is stopping you? So whatever comes to your mind at this point in time, just note it down. It will help you to really articulate your, uh, articulate and reframe your purpose in your life. So once you know the purpose of life, it will be easier to do many things very smoothly. What do you think should change today? So think about these questions and answer for yourself. Let's move on. Yes, Shri, can we move to the next slide? Yeah, right. So where do I want to go? So it's important to know what's your purpose in life. Basically begin with the end in mind. So whatever you want to do today or whatever you want to keep on doing, keep the end in mind. Always begin with end in mind. That will give you clarity on clarity and purpose and the uh, energy and enthusiasm to do whatever you want to do. So we have to start with the end in mind. So that's very, very important. Moving on. Okay. What are the important days of our lives? There are two days which are important for any one of us. One is the day you are born. The other day, other, other one is the day you find out why you are born. So that's the purpose of your life. If you have already discovered, you are great. It's, it's excellent. If you have, have, if you have some clues, some partial ideas, that's well and good. You can form it now. Why you are born here and what's your purpose in your life? So that's very, very important. It is equally important as the new life you came as you know, when you are born. So keep this in mind. These are the two important days. So what is the purpose? What's the purpose of your life? How do you find it? Everyone has been made for some particular work and the desire for that work has been put in every heart. So you know internally what's your purpose, what's your particular work in this life. It's important to understand and articulate and be clear about it so that you can lead your life in a very, very smooth manner. The mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. So that's, that's, the, that's what we will try to do in this session. And of course, you can reflect more and then find your real purpose. And so it's an evolving thing at some level. Uh, but broadly, you would know what's your purpose in your life. Okay, so here I want to give a perspective on the strategic planning which happens in a corporate. Typically, most of us either are working in corporate or aware of What's, what happens in the corporate uh, world. 
In fact, there are a lot of things we keep learning from corporate because there it is well structured and a lot of processes in place to do a lot of things. So it is good to um, uh, borrow those knowledge and wisdom from the corporate planning what happens. So in the strategic planning, what happens is this is what comes at the far, no top mission. Mission is nothing but the purpose. What's the mission or purpose of this particular corporate or this particular business? That's what they typically articulate. Same thing is true for us. What's the mission or purpose of my life? What do I do? What do we do? What's my purpose? What's my mission? So once that clarity is there, that is the end in mind. So once that clarity is there, then goes on to vision. In fact, we will talk about vision board very soon, or we already talked about briefly. So we will follow this corporate uh, strategic planning uh, in our life as well, in, in UMM as well. So find the purpose, then vision board, what is your vision? Then of course, there are strategic approaches, strategic themes and results, which is goals. Basically, you also define the goals and then objectives. And then uh, you know, how do you achieve those objectives and the goals? And then you also decide the performance measures and targets and then strategic initiatives and habits at the bottom of it is very, very important habits, which help you to achieve your visions, your goals, and your purpose of life as well. So this is the context I would like to you know, explain to you that finding the purpose of your life is gonna be very, very important for you to decide what's your vision, what's your goal, uh, what's, uh, how do you achieve that, and what are the good habits to develop and follow it up. So that's the uh, gist of this moving on. So why purpose? So living on purpose feels alive, clear, and authentic. It offers definite emotional and psychological benefits. People with purpose live longer. It really prevents a lot of diseases. You can handle the pain and the difficulties of life easily once you are clear about your purpose. Purpose leads to better relationships and it also handles the retirement effect. What happens is typically people who work in the corporates not too much bother about the you know, purpose of life. Once they retire, they don't know what to do and they die very soon within a few years or some years after the retirement. So it's important to find the purpose because now after the retirement, you have a lot more time to live because of all the medical and you know, all the benefits we have. Not like you know olden days where people die early. Now we live at least 80. So living with purpose promotes resilience and it also allows you to be in flow, be in the zone, be in the flow, totally absorbed in some activity, sports, cooking, reading, hiking, whatever the activity. So the purpose helps you to be there in high energy and high focus area. Moving on. Okay, so this is Ikigai you might have heard. Um, we will talk about it much more depth later on. Uh, our experts will talk about it. But to briefly look at that the people with purpose or Ikigai in Japanese, which is called Ikigai, they live longer. This is something very, very scientifically proven. So here, what it means, Ikigai or the purpose, finding your purpose means in this approach is that find out what you love, what you really like in life, what you like to do, what you love to do, right? So that is not sufficient. You like to do, but are you good at it? So it is possible that I like something, but I may not be good at it. You have to develop that skill to do that well. That is equally important. It is not sufficient to just like it or love it. You also need to be good at it. Okay, you li like it, you are good at it. Is that sufficient? May not be. You need to look at whether the world needs it. Okay, you are good at something, you have skills in that, but whether the world needs that or not, very important. So find out what the world needs. 
because you may love multiple things. It is not just only one thing. So list out all the things you love and list out all the things you are good at and your skills are there and look at what the world needs. And then it is not sufficient the, that you like it, you love it, you are good at it and the world needs. It is also important that you are getting paid for or you are valued or people really respect that, what you like to do. So these are the four dimensions. If you have all four together, the intersection of all those four, if you can find, that is what is your Ikigai or your purpose. So this is something you can do after the next session on Ikigai, uh, which I think Jagdish will take. So right now, just know that this is what is Ikigai or purpose, that what you love, what you have skills, and what the world needs, and what you get paid for. All the four put together, that intersection is what Ikigai is. Moving on. How to identify the purpose? So you can identify the purpose when you really see something is meaningful and satisfying for you to do. It could be the responsibilities to the family or friends. It could be spirituality or religious beliefs. It could be your work, the kind of work you do. It could be the contribution you make to the society. It could be any part of wheel of life or one or more or all of them put together. It also requires for you to reflect and understand that who am I, right? Who am I really? Where do I belong? And what do I feel fulfilled when I do something, when I get fulfilled? So if you can reflect on these things and also look at in which part of wheel of life you really enjoy doing something very smoothly, very nicely, very satisfying satisfactorily, that is going to give you the idea of what is purpose of your life. That's how you will identify the purpose of life. Moving on. Okay, typically what happens, this doesn't come naturally that what's the purpose of life, but whenever some events happen, particularly the Kensho moments, right? Can, is it Kensho? Yeah. So basically the moments where there is a so-called crisis in your life, it could be uh, your career or educational related change or loss. It could be your personal loss. It could be change of place, change of environment. So those are the times which typically it is called life's shipwrecks or disasters at one level or crisis. Those are the times you are put to wonder, what's my purpose of life? Why am I here, right? So instead of keep worrying about it, make use of those moments to find what's your purpose of life. So that's very, very important. This is the secret of fully alive life, to reframe our life questions over and over. So it is not just once you ask that question, what's the purpose of life? You keep asking that again and again and again. And particularly when this kind of emotional crisis moments come in, when you ask, there is a possibility of you getting good clarity of what's the purpose of life. Moving on. So some of the examples of purpose of life, to lift your spirit and to motivate you the purpose of human life is to serve and to show compassion and the will to help others. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others. And if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. The purpose of our life is to be happy. The purpose of life is to be happy and let others be happy. So these are some of the purpose of life can be very generic. It can be <clears throat> very specific to you. Some combination of basically being happy, helping others, not hurting others. Some of these are very, very <clears throat> universal uh, purposes for most of us. Moving on. 
Okay, so there is a formula for finding your purpose. So that's what we will briefly look at. The equation for finding your purpose is P, equal, P being purpose equal to B plus P plus G plus D, right? B is your values, P is your passion, G is your gifts or talents, the capital G is giving, your attitude of giving, your approach to giving. So it is not sufficient to have your great values, great passion and great talents. It is important to have the giving attitude. Without that, your purpose is not complete. Very critical component of G or giving is very, very important. So let's look at each component in this formula, values, passion, gifts and giving. And then uh, we will see whether we can figure out what's our purpose. Moving on, yeah. So values, I think all of us know that values is very, very important in our life. So Rachna, you want to ask something? I wanted uh, to go back to the previous slide, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Previous, yeah. Yes. Val values previous, yeah. The formula. Yes, <coughs> formula. Yeah. yeah, this one. <coughs> values, passion, gifts or talents, and giving attitude. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, next. Yeah. So values are very important, all of us know. Values are an internal reference point for determining what is good, what is bad, what is desirable, what is not desirable, how it is going to impact us if you do something or don't do something. That's the value. It comes from your experience, from your uh, background, your environment. Uh, so that, that, that's the values. It, it gets built on internally. It is also based on your beliefs, your experiences. It's very, very important. So there is a difference between values and ethics. Values is to talk about what is important, whereas ethics is about right or wrong. Values obviously can, will be right, but you, are, you don't have any dilemma. There, the important thing is what is important for me right now. That's, that's what is value. It will also help you to find out what can I achieve? That is values. Whereas ethics will ask, what is the correct action? So values will drive you towards what you want to achieve. Values also different for each person. Whereas ethics is kind of social norm common for people. Values motivate you, whereas ethics constrain you. So it is values is more expansive, more uh, achievement oriented, more personal and more important for you. So what is the significance of value? Once you have the values clearly understood and defined values, and of course some of the values can, not, not necessarily all the values are very expansive, very good or anything. There, are, there could be some values which may be constraining you. You have to evaluate and look at whichever the value helps you to grow, to achieve your purpose. And if some values are stopping you, you can modify, you can drop. It, it is deep work, it doesn't happen just like that. You need to delve deep into that. So the value system helps to make clear decisions and get great clarity and perception in life. And it allows you to really decide your action points, deducing things appropriately, determining whether to do it, not to do it, uh, giving you, you know, enthusiasm to do it. So that's, that's very important because if you want to really uh, move on in life and do achieve many things, your value system gives you that clarity. If you have the values clearly understood and defined, it gives you uh, that, that, that enthusiasm, that energy, that clarity and the decision-making power. 
so values are very important so you are delve deep into that and find out what are your values and evaluate whether it is serving your purpose or not if not modify if it is there strengthen that moving on so these are some of the sample of values it can be ambition connection creativity freedom friendship generosity growth independence inspiration leadership loyalty nature peace pleasure security stability wealth wisdom so there are there are uh, so many values we only a sample set of values you may already know what are your values you may partially know you may want to discover some of the values you can do that there are some exercises i think in one of our sessions also we'll cover it so moving on um, just press one more one more uh, just the topic no 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 come down yeah next sorry move on yeah right gifts so we'll talk we talked about values now we'll talk about gifts gifts means what are the gifts given to you by the universe by the <clears throat> life what are your talents so utilize your natural gifts or natural talents serve others create flow basically some things when you do you really like to do continue to do you no effort you don't feel any uh, effort or constraint or any uh, pain it comes automatically it comes naturally that is what is your gift you discover those talents and gifts and that will give you the clarity on what is your purpose what is your right purpose so you can try doing flow free flow journaling identify your career stage so identify what am i good at what do i love to do so those are your natural gifts natural talents so once you find that it will give you clarity on how to move forward with your life to become devoted to a calling to have a sense of responsibility and to have hopes and aspirations are all part of being human to have no calling no sense of responsibility no hopes or aspirations is to be outside of life so basically you will be fully enjoying the life when you are utilizing your gifts your talent so that will give you the clue or clarity for what's the purpose of life moving on go to the next slide giving so we talked about <clears throat> values we talked about gifts or talents so let's look at giving giving is most important whether you explicitly know or not you all give we all give and contribute something to the world to the people to others only thing is we may not do it consciously let's do it consciously let's give to the world to the universe to the people consciously so what can we give by default we think that giving means i should give money yes that is also there but that is not alone there are so many other things you can give the best thing you can give to another human being is your presence you being fully present to another person interacting with them listening very intently very nicely you can do prayer you can spend your time with other people you can do some work for the society to the other people you can share your knowledge you can share various other things of course you can give money as well so giving is most important component as part of your life you give but little when you give of your possessions it is when you give of yourself that you truly give for what are your possessions but things you keep on god for fear you may need them tomorrow so true giving is giving yourself your time your presence your listening your prayer your work that's the real giving so keep this in mind moving on so giving also makes us feel happy it's good for our, our health in fact people i don't know there are, there are researches which show that people with giving attitude live much more happily for longer as well and healthier it promotes cooperation and social connection it evokes gratitude and it is also contagious once you give other people also start giving 
So that's that's about giving. So it's a very powerful. Okay, so now we are moving to passion. So we talked about values, gifts or talents, and giving. The other component in the formula is passion. So the passion is very powerful. This is very, very important. This is the spirit of the whole thing. A very powerful feeling, extreme interest in or wish for doing something, a powerful you know, expression or emotion, something you are strongly interested and enjoy as well. So the passion is, it depends on your intention and then giving attention to that and then doing it without tension. So that's the passion. You can identify the passion when you have the great intention and you put a lot of attention on it and you do, do, you do it without tension. That's the passion moving on. So what's the difference between passion and goal? A passion is how you choose to live your life. The passion is about the process, the activity, the action. Whereas goal is something you aim to achieve. Goal is about the outcomes, whereas the passion is about the process in life. So passion is the way, goal is the destination, yeah. So yeah, yeah, move on. So the process of passion is intention, have great intention, put attention to it, and do the necessary things with no tension. So that's the process of passion moving on. So it could be your passion could be photography, it could be helping others, it could be contributing in a particular way in your career. So when you are clear what you want, will show up in your life and only to the extent you are clear. So when you are clear about your intention, you are clear about whatever you want, life will show you the things you need to do to the extent of the clarity you have. Your results will always match your true intention. That is the way of measuring whether you have the right intention or not. How do you measure? It depends on the results. If you get great results, it is clear that you have great intention. So it is cyclic. So intention is a conscious or unconscious choice to create something. All of us are constantly creating the circumstances, the situations in our world by which you have the beliefs and concepts we hold to be true. So what do you intend for yourself, for others? That's the most important thing for the passion to work. Moving on. Attention. What you put your attention on grows stronger in your life. So if you put at your attention in negative things, negative things will keep coming up. If you put your attention on others, you will focus on others. If you put your attention on yourself, you will grow. So conscious attention is a habit which can be formed. So by default, you may not have attention, but you can decide to put your attention on what matters, what is the true intent. You can also choose successful habits so that your attention is put there and that becomes your passion. So it could be taking time to review top passions of yours, taking responsibility for everything what you do, daily prayer, meditation, exercise, getting adequate rest, eating healthy food, charity, speaking positively, very important. That really, you know, if you put your attention in that, you really will become great, uplifting others. So these are the various uh, ways of putting your attention. Moving on. No tension. So once you have the great intention and you put attention on that, then you know what to do and start acting, start doing those things. Whenever you are faced with a choice, decision, or an opportunity, choose in your favor of passion, your passion, okay? So what is, what is helping you? Use that one. Yeah, please come on video. We can have the you know, dialogue or discussions, questions very soon. 
So no tension means exactly that. Creating intentions and putting your attention on them is very simple and easy and effortless process. That's what uh, triggers the passion. Moving on. So some of the examples of the passion, having fun in everything I do, it can be your passion. Spending lots of quality time with your family, enjoying perfect health with lots of energy, stamina and vitality, that can be your passion. Living in beautiful home in which you feel completely at peace. Working in a nurturing environment with lots of plants and light. You, you know, that's, that's a very good passion to have and you can find it. Once you have that intention, you will find that kind of environment. Being of service to massive number of people, being a multimillionaire, speaking to large groups. So these are some of patients you can, you may have, you may want to have. So this is a questionnaire for finding your passion assessment. So maybe we will send it, uh, you can answer on your own, uh, Jayastri, instead of we go through, going through now, we'll send this as a as no assignment. So you can, in your assignment, you can list top 10 of your patients, order them, identify top five patients, and focus on these five patients. Because passion, there can be multiple, so you can, Prioritize them. So once you go through those questions, identify from some top 10 patients and then prioritize top five. So you can do that as an exercise. So what is purpose and what is goal? How, how do they differ? Purpose helps in creating the goals. Once you are clear about purpose of your life, then you can create the goals which are in line with, in, which are aligning with your purpose. Goals get to serve your purpose. So check if your goals are aligned to your purpose. If not, review and modify your goals. So goals should serve your purpose. So keep that in mind. So in the strategic planning also, that's what we saw that mission or purpose is the topmost. That drives your vision, goals, actions, and habits. Moving on. So let's identify who am I becoming your own first creator? So here we'll just quickly go through. If you have your you know, um, notebook and paper, you can write. What would you like to be remembered for? Right? Even after you are gone, what do you want people to remember you for? You can write them down. Because that will give you clue on what's your purpose. What are the three things people price or compliment you for? See, that, that will give you another clue. Already people must be complimenting or pricing you for certain things. So what are those things? Can you write them down? What for people compliment you or price you? What comes naturally in you and what are you good at? So when you really do this, you forget everything and you really enjoy doing it. What are they? What are those such things? What are those activities? Would the skill, knowledge or expertise help solve problems, challenges of people and planet? Yes, Rachna, I will, I will share the PPT as well, yeah. So whatever the skill you have, whether it will solve the problems and challenges for others. If yes, would you create a mission statement or purpose that would relate with solving people's problems and challenges? So answer them and identify your purpose. For example, there are some people right now, you may, may might not have met these people, but uh, some of us know these people. So we have coach Avil Pinto, 
his mission or purpose in life is to help people to unlock their true potential. So there is one coach, Cheryl, her purpose or mission in life is to help people to master mind and money, to help people to master mind and money. So that's her purpose. We have another coach, Arjun. He comes to our various forums and talks and helps us and motivates. His mission is to help people discover that deeper purpose. See, this is amazing purpose. So his purpose is to help people to discover that deeper purpose. Jay Shetty's mission is to take his wisdom to the world. Whatever the wisdom he gained, he wants to take it to the world and share it. Eugene, purpose is to empower the world to be future ready. So these are the real life, real example people we interact regularly. So this is the example of their purpose, not example, that is a real purpose they identified. So this is an example for us to define our purpose. So now you start writing your, um, your purpose statement. You explore your purpose by creating one sentence purpose statement. So you can contemplate, you can reflect, you can do meditate, you can journal, write your life story. So that will give some uh, clarity on how to, what, what is the purpose, you know? You can write the life story. I think somebody will talk about, uh, you no know, writing, uh, indicating your life's various events, uh, you know, the high and low points of your uh, life story. That will also give you clarity identifying purpose. Paying attention to your dreams, that also gives you clarity and activation, living your truth. So these are the things which will give you. This is a true joy of life being used, being used up for your purpose, recognized by yourself as a mighty one. Being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish, cold, load of ailments or grievances. Complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. So instead of you, you know, keep worrying and you know, complaining that nobody is helping me, it is the other way around. You be the life force, you help others, right? That's George Bernard Shaw. So use this you know, formula P equal to V plus P plus D plus G and come out with your own purpose of life. So now, question and answers. So feel free to share your views, ask your questions, come on video if possible. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ramasa, <clears throat> for that, for the deep dive of purpose and the passion. Purpose is nothing but the passion, values, gifts, and giving. So we just uh, came to know that quick formula to find your purpose. So now let's have a Q&A. Please come on video and um, ask questions. Because even you, if you have not done or even if you have not started your project life uh, goal setting and all that, this is the place you start. No, if you understand your why thoroughly, then you know you can start your journey well. So it's time to ask questions. Let's take a few minutes. We still have time. Okay. May I request everybody to come on video, please? <clears throat> It, uh, it feels like me and Ramazar are talking to each other. And of course, Kumaravel is there. Thank you, Kumaravel, for being on video. And the session is for you all. And it doesn't matter how you are, where you are. Like, <clears throat> I just put my virtual background and I'm sitting. So that shows, e e even Rama, right? you can see. So that shows that we are anyways in the busy uh, place. And kids are all moving here and there. They are getting ready for school. All that will happen doesn't matter. We know we are all a family. 
So what matters is that you be present because we don't want you to get lost behind the scene, right? That's more important. So let's see each other. And yeah, Josen is there. Thank you, Josen, for coming on video. All right, let's take a few questions, please. Kumar Avail, yes. Uh, Rama sir, thank you. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Uh, after listening or watching your presentation, what I understand is uh, I really need to find my own uh, purpose. Uh, what I understand is uh, I have I haven't yet find uh, the true purpose. What I want is uh, I will work out on this uh, purpose, and it, will there be any follow up session on uh, finding your purpose? We can uh, share it in the group tomorrow. Well, once you find your fine tune, you can share it in the WhatsApp group. And if there is a, a need for one on one discussions, we can have. Uh, and there is a group meeting as well. So it can be discussed and shared in the group meeting as well. Yeah? So if you believe that there is a need for explicit follow up session, we can have it. But there are other avenues as well. Uh, discuss in the WhatsApp group, discuss with your accountability partner, discuss with your mentors, discuss uh, in the group meeting. So these are all the various other news. Uh, okay, let me work on it. My, uh, purpose of life, sir. Sure, all the best. But if uh, it should be one particular statement or it should have a different uh, it can be more it, it can be more it can be more initially you know you once you, you if you don't have full clarity there will be multiple sentences which is fine no issue it can be fine tuned over a period okay sir thank you yeah yes so i hope kumaravel and josen have already started communicating with people because they are the facilitators of the um, of the coming weeks, at least the, for the first month. So uh, you all have to decide uh, on the team meeting timings and the schedule. So uh, I think by this time, uh, we have been informing in the WhatsApp also that please start meeting as a team. So for that, we don't have to come inside unless and until you ask us to come. So it is your see now we have just given the group so you all first have to talk to each other and if at all anything is required then um, you can ask your mentor to come so ramazan will come inside and then if you need any of our help then we will come otherwise it is your it is your time it, it is fully your time you don't have to worry about you know whether somebody is there and all that but you all have to talk to each other, communicate to each other. So please set Kumaravel and Josin, I would really request today you please set that time. Uh, last week, it's okay that we just started. So I think I've already talked to Kumaravel on this. So please set up a time. So for example, uh, you don't have a, a class session on Monday. So have your team meetings on Monday. And also you don't have a session on um, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? So have your team meetings on Wednesday as well. So same time in the morning, you can all meet each other, right, as a group. And then whatever we had gone through, you discuss there. Like Kumaravel and Josin, you take a lead and discuss. Where are you right now in all this? And what is the help we require? So uh, that is where we have been initiating again and again to start the one-on-one -on -one first. So. Uh, um, we did not receive the input that how many of you had completed the one-on-one. -on -one. So other members have to talk to Kumaravel and Josin also. I think you have to initiate that. Both of you have to initiate that. Otherwise, like individually, if everybody's, uh, you know, um, doing their own thing, then we will not be aligned. So we want all of you uh, to work as a team. So that will happen only when you meet, right? So yeah, the team bonding has to develop the team dynamics. So you should you know, meet as a ma you know, mastermind team without other you know, mentors or the facilitators, no, not the facilitators, the organizers in place. Yeah. That will create bond, the team bond. That's very, very important. Yeah. 
So yeah, you you can push it, Kumaravel and Josin. Just make it happen. If you leave it by default, it's very difficult for people to make time. But you have to really make it happen. Okay. People will come. People will come. Only thing is they need to see and sense. No, how the uh, team works together. How each one of us are helping each other. Uh, how the team as a whole team it grows. So the team uh, dynamics and the team spirit is completely different. Very very, you know, good. So you can develop that. Exactly. You are a very small group, so you should take the advantage of it. We had dealt with some six seven groups overall in one batch. So yeah. uh, we also give a point system, like you know, who are all coming and finishing it um, on that week itself. How many of uh, them done the one on one and all that? So I think that motivation has to come. We are giving you the platform and we are telling you what all things has to be done. Like Anita talked to me, and talking to us it's fine, but you all have to talk to each other as a team. So that has to be. In done. fact, uh, yesterday I I had a discussion with Fatiha uh, one on one. So she is very clear. She wants actually this is the clue for most of all of you that she said whatever the exercises, whatever we are talking about, can we do as a group? I think that is where you can do in the group meeting. Whatever we are saying today, the list of questions to be answered, the assignments, you can all work together as a group. You know? So please start with that. So tomorrow, uh, like after the session, also you can meet in the evening. Also you can meet. So if you few groups, what they do, they move, they meet every day evening, so that you know it, it it is their it is their interest. They really want to discuss and then move move ahead. So otherwise, we suggest you meet on Mondays and Wednesdays morning times after your rituals. You can meet and then discuss and do. Uh, then only you will know you can share. Kumarivel can share your ideas. Your feedbacks, your suggestions. Fatika can share hers. So it is a give and take, also, right? I see Shweta raising hand. Shweta, do you have a question on the session or? Yeah, yeah. go on, Shweta. I gave you the prompt. Not sure whether you received. No, actually, I just read and I just slowed on. It's still showing. No, no. In any case, I was about to call you, Shweta. That, uh, no, you please. No, it was, a mis it was mistake. <laughs> no, no, they, it's not a mistake. In fact, I wanted to uh, talk to you. That you know, <laughs> work on the purpose. Have you got that? Have you okay. got the uh, kind of direction in this presentation on how do you go about finding the purpose? Yes, actually, I joined a little bit late, but yeah, still I got the gist of it. I'll be working on it, and I am working on the other areas and wheel of life. So I, but still, I'm work. I will work on this uh, to find the passion and purpose. This, this is the most important step, uh, Shweta. Once you yeah. find your passion and purpose, then okay. your self confidence, your focus, your attention will be high. Yes, definitely. Then we will have other uh, motivation and other purpose to work. Then definitely it will change the whole dimension and whole paradigm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you need any specific help, please you know talk to me, talk to Jayashree or whoever else in the team. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I would request you to watch the watch the FB live, uh, Shweta, from from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yes. whatever you had missed, it will be covered there, right? So yeah, I will be watching that. Sure. Yeah. Any doubts? Again, whatever. You, like, if you feel that you have to go back, please go to the FB live and watch the videos. Everybody, it's a, that is why yeah. we, we are giving you those videos. So please mm -hmm. have that as a reference. I want to see each one of your purpose statement in uh, in next one week, whatever the way it is. You no, know, whether it is one paragraph or one page, ideally one sentence, right? right? <laughs> so please do that. And Shweta, I definitely want to see yours. Okay. Uh, Fatiha, can you talk about uh, what you are saying in the chat? Yeah, while Fatiga comes in, I would also like to tell. So after this, now, yeah, Fatiga, go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, you were saying good morning, all. Uh, you were saying that uh, we'd like to, uh, I'm really excited if we can get together once a week. And if you guys, you, you, you as a starter, um, you suggest one day where all the members of the team, they get together and just brainstorm and discuss all the, the what that have been said and done up to now, like the wheel of life and the project and the purposes. And then instead of us, each one of us is working on her own, okay, individually by herself, we can all as a starter start, discuss, and then we yeah. work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fatiga, just now we just addressed that. Just, mm -hmm. uh, just some time back, we just uh, talked about that. We also mentioned team meeting has to happen. And uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, you can have your team meetings. Maybe Mondays that can happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because those two days, we don't have the ultimate mastermind session. So maybe, mm -hmm. in due, maybe in due course, you can have those days as your team meetings. But at this stage, uh, you can have your daily meetings also. So we are leaving that to you. That is what we were saying. We, were, we are leaving that to you, Kumarvel and Josin. Please talk to the team and... Uh, find the date like for example even today evening also you can meet so you need to know everybody's availability first of all right for example if i'm saying today evening you always meet then you should know right for example Jocelyn is is working so you should know when is your availability correct uh, and then uh, let's say uh, in india their timings so at least team meeting the time which we give you is mondays and wednesdays so if it is fine, please meet tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. same time after the rituals you do in the 5 a.m. You can meet. You can yeah. get started. You can get started with some timing and then yeah. discuss as a team and then you know, fine tune the timings. Okay. Exactly. So this is where the passion comes the, you know, for meeting the team together. You know, do you have the true intention that to really make it happen and then put the attention and then meet. So Kumaravel and Joseph.